Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bendercraft Series 2. I'm excited because I've done stuff off camera. As you can see, I'm currently AFK fishing. Let's get that out of here, shall we? As you can see, no more trees. I've done a lot of work and uh, I've done some serious deforestation. So as you can see around here, we've got our AFK fisher and it's gone all the way up to here. We'll have to sort through that later. But I've done deforestation. I've bred animals and I've started farming so we've got food and mobs don't spawn here we've got animals so we've got produce and well I've done some other stuff so as you can see here a light trap pickup system so off camera you know I got this prepared so this is a spawn trunk so I changed it from in the water to over here just for the sake of it being a lot easier and me not drowning when I lag out but I've installed a command so when I kill the ender dragon it will drop its uh it will drop an elytra so those who watch Hermitcraft they've the people know that so the elytra will come through and go into the spawn chunks and it will go straight into this chest if it drops its head as well it will go into here so that is something else I've added but as you can see we've got some books and what I'm going to do is sort through and I'll be back with you guys shortly and see the good ones. Okay, so continuing on, but what I did want to do first was get some enchanting done, but we also haven't got diamonds yet, and which then reminded me, because in enchanting we need diamonds, I then rem remembered off camera I found diamonds, so if we just pop down here, I have found some diamonds that I want to go mine up with this iron pickaxe of ours and we want to come around here and because there was a lava lake over here that surrounded I turned right went off this way as you can see we've got a lot of stuff in here but I want to use it with a fortune pick and not now straight away so we'll just run down here and lit up caves and explore a bit come around some more more caves but keep on going down here and as you can see I stop and that's because there's a lava lake here. as you can see right there diamonds this is what I want so we've got one diamond two diamonds three four five diamonds yeah oh that's a good oh no it's six diamonds that's a good vein so what I want to do is grab some lapis that I actually just saw so mine our way up and over and go grab that lapis so we can go get some enchanting done because what I want to do is get, you know, all this easy stuff, like pre-game stuff out of the way so we can continue on with uh, later game stuff. So, you know, I want to go find the, um, build the Iron Titan really fast. So I have to go find a village. So that means another episode we will go exploring and transport villages back here. But I'm not going to build the Iron Titan until... Um, Tango Tech actually posts his newest video, so he's new Iron Giant, I think it is. It's this, it's like the Iron Titan, but easier to build, and you can build it anywhere. So I'm hoping that will come out soon, so we can build that one. Quick check that we are recording. Yes, we are, because we all know that. But what I want to do now is basically go up and go get some enchanting oh i just realized have i got obsidian might not have obsidian yet just realized that no i haven't because this is my first diamond pick so i won't have it yet no okay so i've got to go get obsidian okay um that's something i didn't think of i thought i'd be able to come up here and go grab everything immediately but not no oh um have I made a diamond pick already? I might have. Oh, well, uh, it appears we already have a diamond pick, so what we need now is some sugar cane, and I, from the back of the island, we have just over here some sugar cane. 
So we've got this, yeah, see we've got a little bit of a back on. So this place is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to this. But what we need to do is basically just take this and go plant it around the other side. Because we're going to need to start sugarcane farming somehow. So we'll take it over here and plant these down. Let them grow. But we have got our diamonds now, so what we need to do is make... Um, where are some sticks? Here we go. Chuck those sticks here. Make ourselves a diamond pick. And there we go. We've got our first diamond pick, which I'm happy for. Uh, we'll just chuck those in there. Um, we'll go get some leather, because we need that. We'll get this cow, because he's not doing anything. And what I want to do today... So, getting back on track. What I want to do today is basically set up on our uh, mob farm so we can actually uh, get items now. So, what I've done, as you can see over here, I've made a bit of an entrance down to where we want to start it. So, what we need to do is just quickly, what I need to do is grab some bread and I need to cook some fish. Uh, stack of fish. So I just want to get this out of the way quickly, so we need about 16, yeah 16 is how we do it, and we'll just chuck them both in here, so people would argue and just say, hey look you've got your 8 fern eye, I'm too lazy, okay, so we want to go down there, and you'll see in a minute, I've dug a little room for it, so quickly run over, oh and I did die the other day off camera which annoyed me, quickly jump down here go down this ladder so we've got a skeleton that way and a zombie that way and don't worry I have gone off camera and I've made um, the what are they called the caves lit up I've lit up all the caves but basically I need to oh I should have done this earlier oh, I might have another entrance I need to Mark down where we are. So we're at negative 88, 28, neg uh, 178. And then what we need to do is find. So that's where we put it over here. Yeah, we made the entrance over here. So we need to basically mark our way to that. Oh, hope I don't drown. Okay, so I'm drowning, but I'm not going to die. Okay, so basically in here is the entrance, I think it was. Let me see. Um, yeah, here we go. Right here. Right to where we need to go. So what we need to do is mark that back up. I've already lengthened it out. But what we want to do is quickly grab this. So mine these chests. Grab this one too. So I've made them 4x4 four four as well. Let me just see. Negative 88. 178. So it goes... Okay, so we need to go this way. Is where the room is. So I was going in the right direction. Okay. Okay, I was going in the right direction. But basically I have lengthened them across. Not this one though. So I need to do that. And basically get them all set up so we can, in fact, get that done. So I'm just going to do that off camera. Be back with you guys shortly. Okay, so after a while I have, in fact, made the spawners um, drop the skeletons and zombies in. And here are the coordinates. So what we need to do next is basically here, um, this one is... If I remember correctly, this one is this room, which is correct. This one is the skeleton, I think. Yeah, that one's the skeleton and that one's the zombie. Um, basically, what we're going to do is transport and make the skeletons drop in this one, zombies drop in this one. Um, so what we need to do for that is because there's uh, baby zombies... We're going to drop them into here and have slabs, basically. So, um, 
I did not bring any with me, but basically, well, they'll come up here, drop there, so that means over here they need to come in, and I came unprepared for this, but they'll come around here, and then there'll be a water elevator, they'll take them up, and basically let them come in, um, where are these, see that's why I put down the signs, I need the signs. They're over here, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I'm not doing so well on this. So that's why I need the signs. But you basically get the idea. There's going to be a water elevator here. And it's going to pump them through. So I'm going to go prepare that some more. And we'll be back with you guys shortly then. Okay, so with these now here, I've made the kill zone so, you know, we can... Now swipe them, and with a smite fire sword, it'll be so much easier. But now we can actually farm these guys. And we've got hoppers that go around. I've got one here, but I don't know if I have one on this side. And it appears not. No? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly chuck them in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, looks like we had a silverfish come here. No. Um, I'm just going to quickly get out of here and, uh, try and stop these guys. This is my only fortification from killing me. Uh, I'll be back in one moment, I guess. Okay, so the crisis is averted. I've fixed it all. I've removed all the monster spawner eggs. And now we can actually do this again. So I've... Added in the hoppers now to fix that up, and yep, we're getting getting items through. That's good. And basically, what we're gonna do is wind this around. There's gonna be like a storage unit here. So behind these, we'd have what a chest for items like rotten flesh would go on here, rotten flesh, and then there'd be a column, and then no, there'd be bones in this one, and rod and flush in this one, then there'd be a column in between, then this one would just be overflow, I guess, or other items. But right now they're just going to be chests, so it's just going to come around and if we just come through here, mainly what we're just going to do is just make it come around and enter these chests. So I'll do that quickly, and there's going to be a lot of cuts in this, but I'll do that quickly and I'll come back in one moment. Okay, so we are uh, back, and as you can see, it looks really different. I've just basically added everything, you know, switched the walls to stone bricks, and we will change that soon, you know, we'll get some mossy stone bricks and some cracked in. Um, but for the meantime, as you can see, we've actually got a sort of system going on, so once I kill some of these zombies, their run of flesh will drop. We'll go around, and as you can see in my subtitles, you can see dispensed item. And, well, we're getting items in. So we have a working storage, and these are just going to be overflow chests. But what I want to do, is, as you can see, these are stairs, is quickly run back up and go grab some oak wood I have. And we've basically just been underground this whole episode. Whoop. But basically, go up there and kind of give the thing the build a bit of a framework and I think I've just gotten some frame drops just then yeah I've gotten some frame drops okay anyway but I want to add in some some oak and so basically the logs will give it some frame so we'll go grab that and I think what we can do is kind of make it like a dome sort of thing so we'll grab some oak and we'll quickly run back over. As you can see the guardian farm's still there. Not guardian farm, the temple, but one day will be a guardian farm. Something I have not done yet. But basically we'll just jump back down and go set that up. And we will have a better entrance than this. For now it's just this, but we'll have a grand entrance soon. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, just checking that we are recording. Yep. Okay. But we need to get these in to kind of give it some depth. Get rid of that. 
we'll get rid of that. And we can put something in in a minute. Um, and we'll put these in to kind of launch it up. Because I want to make it like a dome sort of roof in here. So, um, hmm. Basically in here, we could just mix it all up. Makes, make it look better, but keep it around as well. I want to quickly make something. Oh, that's not how you do it. Whoopsies. Can't believe I don't have one of these in here. I've been going up the top when I have to craft these, but make that. We'll just convert these and turn them into sticks. And we'll turn these into wood. Basically what we're going to do is make some fence posts for the um, torches. That's what I'm looking for. I keep on losing my words today. Uh, so basically in areas, instead of having them like that, we would have a fence posts and it'll admit a sort of a medieval broken feel, kind of. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to continue with that, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Yep, another break. Anyway, see you soon. Okay, so we are back, and I've added in some cobblestone to the roof and on the wall, so it looks broken down. Now what I'm going to do is make a border around this, and we're going to be adding in the details to the floor. And what I've planned on doing is have... The bookshelf surrounding it and right dead set in the middle, which is here, we're going to have uh, the enchanting table. So that means like these, for instance, will be changed over and we'd have the um, bookshelves here and then the enchantment table is going to be there. So um, put that there for the table and what do I want to add in? We'll just have stone bricks for the floor for now. And there we go, I believe the down here is done. I'm going to do this off camera, you know, get these out of here. But we have successfully created a mob grinder. So now once we get, you know, mending books and put it on stuff, we can grind here for XP and fix everything. So I'm really happy with this. Um, episode 2, we've already made one of these. I've got to make a proper entrance here and I'll do that just now and be back with you soon but i must say this place is looking really good i'm happy with this okay so we are back and as you can see there's something a little bit special we have finally got the sugarcane we can place these in and i've been getting leather and sugarcane now we've got our enchantment table and now for the bookshelves we need about 16 up oh that was stupid 16 if I remember correctly and we'll get these in so we'll place these ones in first we'll probably put carpet over them in future probably a red carpet yep 16 perfect we have now got a level 30 enchantment table and that is a great way to end ah chunk loading yep anyway that's a great way to end today's episode uh, I'll probably go off camera and do the walkway up and make it so we can AFK in some rooms, you know, get the stuff in. But sadly, that is all we've got time for today. It's going to be a bit short one because I've got to get other episodes done. But if you really enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. But this has been Bando and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.